Hello, everybody. My name is Timothy Rogers. My name is Timothy Rogers. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of TNT. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, we have a special guest. Another special guest. Part two. Which is? Your name. State your name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Calandra. That's Calandra, a.k.a. my sweetie, a.k.a. mommy. And today... Number one mom. I just... I, 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 I just... Pulled this topic out the other day. Well, I ain't pulled it out the other day, but just told Junior about it today. And we're going to be talking about, like, I guess you could say parenting styles and different styles of a different, um, what is not styles, but techniques. Uh, no, 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 of the kid personalities, different um. personalities of the kids, and then the different parenting styles and how approachable or not approachable that they are. So I'll start. You want to start order? Um, I can start if you want to. Okay, so with, I guess, parenting styles, which parent do you lean more toward coming to just to talk everyday conversation, stuff dealing with schools, if you got issues, like which parent do you go to for, you know, any kind of thing that's dealing with you? Mom. You go to mommy for yes. for everything. Well, no, not for everything. <laughs> for but, everything. Uh, I don't know why is because he's nice to talk to, but I don't know. It's just because I I don't know how to I don't know how to say this. Uh, over the years, uh, you kind of kind of like develop what what you feel what you feel like you can and cannot do between them. You know, and I don't know if this go hurt y'all feelings. It's not gonna hurt y'all feelings, but uh, it's not. It seems nicer to talk to her, be when, when I have ideas. Not saying, not when I have ideas, but if it's something that you planning on doing, what I'm planning on doing, yeah, I uh like to talk to her, and I tell him also, but I like to talk to her. You know, I have details. Plus, she uh help me with my schedule also, and then. There's one thing I also don't like to talk to with him, like just because, it, which is like school issues. Like I'll be like, like okay, uh, I just missed the assignment. I'm gonna, I'm trying to fix it. I don't like to tell him because he'll look cuckoo for cocoa puffs about <laughs> school. <laughs> but now, when it comes to creativity and and creativity and stuff I want to do, creative wise and. I would go to him because I don't know he also also a creator I guess he's create creative, and he could give a insight or what he think it kind of help also and then also it's just nice to talk to, talk to somebody you know, just another that can creator to it. yeah so, yeah so so basically like if it's if it's like something that's you got planned or just general conversation or like something you feel like you are gonna get in trouble for. It's like you go to your mom because she's more approachable. And if it's something like more creative, then you come to me because we can relate. We can relate to on on the same level. But did there are certain emotions you approach? Cause I I don't I don't know which ones. I don't I can't really say none off my head right now until you know they come off. Yeah. But here's some examples. If uh, irritated, right? I go to her. If I'm happy or f like in a funny mood i go to both of them you know but uh i say more him and then also it depends because you get, be mad at not mad but like kind of like somebody just one of them just push your buttons you go to the opposite you know <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Give us some examples on some when your examples. buttons are being pushed hashtag <laughs> no <laughs> tnt <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's I mean, cool. I, 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 ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put you on the spot. But yeah, yeah, yeah. so for um I guess we'll let the guest speak on this next one for um mm. what's the what what are some challenges with Ray because Timothy and Chris got total different personalities. What are some challenges for you when it's like dealing with the both of them to try to get them to do just what they supposed to do in the house but you got to approach them differently because they you know say they're different people um one of the challenges is you know trying to custom it to one thing but you can't custom it customize it for 
um, one person or the situation around one person because they're two different people. So, for example, like with sports and music, you know, in my mind, I want to say, okay, we'll all just go to football practice. But then one's like, nope, I'm playing soccer. Another one's like, I'm playing football. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, the approach is different because Timothy is real calm. Chris is more of an emotional person. Yeah. And so, you know, how how you bring it and present it to them is, is a little different. So, Yeah. And, like, for me, since they, I feel like they yin and yang. They, like, totally opposites. Which is good. Like, which is Similar. which is good. Yeah, they, no, they, no, they opposites it, attract. Yeah, they it's but, like I mean, they 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 similar. opposite they totally opposites when it comes to like personalities. But like yeah. um the challenges I face is like being able to like reel myself in because it's like I'm zero to sixty real quick. And it's like Timothy he don't like it, but he can he can take it better than Chris can take it. Like Chris don't perform well under pressure. Like I don't when I'm when it is like, but you know, but you yeah he is. don't. Neither one of them perform. <laughs> like, I shouldn't say perform well, but under pressure, like Timothy can still somewhat execute. execute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris like when when I, when the pressure on, he literally do this. <laughs> like like if we was outside the other day and I was like Chris just move it he was like <laughs> he literally just go haywire so it's like I got the challenge for me is just like reeling myself in and understanding which child I'm talking to at that time and try to focus on what works for that child like yeah. affirmation I think it's affirmation that like affirmation works well with Chris. it's like aff affirmation works well right. with Chris, mm -hmm. and it's like um, if I think that's the word I'm looking for, like and praise. then like oh. it they're like praise and like Timothy, he wants to do stuff on his own. Like he want he wanna in my mind that's how I see it. It's like he wanted to be that's his idea to do that and he accomplished it and that make him feel good. Chris is more like of a praise thing that makes him feel good. So it's like I be trying to reel myself in because this stuff need to happen now and sometimes ninety nine percent of the time I just lose it. <laughs> I just lose it. I just eighty. Eighty. I just lose it because it's like I don't like repeating myself and so it's like uh but yeah it it, it become challenging because. Cause they like they like night and day. It's like you know they night and day. They, he Timothy is oh. Timothy has been independent since he was in diapers. Yeah. You know, and not saying that Chris isn't independent. He just has a different style in him. Yeah. And Timothy like ruined it for me as far as like I'm not used to a a, a toddler needing my help. <laughs> you know so, so, so he kind of created this standard <laughs> that we were expecting. Yeah. And then Chris came along and was like, nope, here's the new standard. Yeah, like, this, this is this, this is what a baby is. This is what you did, <laughs> but this is what you're gonna do now. This is what you're supposed to do. You did this, but this is what you're this, supposed this to what do. This is what you're gonna so, do now. So, so yeah. yeah. So um I guess um, we'll wrap it up. Oh, one thing we'll wrap uh, it up with, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, go ahead. Uh, also, uh, they, they say this a lot. I don't know why, but uh, I say I think maybe three years old. No, five, maybe. They had extremely high standards for a five-year-old, you know. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah, we I'm did. Like, that's, that's a bit much. Because but, you yeah. ruined the game. It's like you you was totally... In, you you just don't understand how independent you were. He was you know self, what I'm saying? self-starter, very independent. And he know how to tie shoes. And he know how to tie shoes. <laughs> but then you got to... Also, that, that, you know, that was the first rodeo. You know, we didn't know what we were doing. It was no book. Tell first, baby. You know those diaper commercials be like, you first, first baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the yeah. second one is like, he oh, yeah. all agree, so. Okay, yeah. so we'll end it off with, uh, I'm going to pick like three questions and you just answer them. Quick um, time. Okay. All right, quick time. Uh, Go. Funnest parent. Come on. Uh, strictest parent. Dad. Uh... Most likely to give you whatever you want. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to end it like... <laughs>